like when you use a wig, you have a lot more options for cosplay. If you just use your hair, you can probably cosplay like three or four characters, like generic hairstyle. Like for example, for um, this cosplay, I did a Mako from Legend of Korra. This is a wig, by the way. So I didn't have to like cut my hair super short. I just used a wig. Um, I think most people, when they do this cosplay, they just use their hair, and I don't think it looks that good. <laughs> um, yeah, because a wig is, I think it's a lot easier to style than real hair, because real hair has like oil, and sometimes when you walk at the convention, you get all sweaty, and your hair get all greasy, and you know, your styling product is like dripping down or something. So you don't want that to happen, especially for a con in the summer. Um, let's see. Another one, like this one I did for talk for Big Bang. I don't know if you guys know K-pop. Um, he has like a undercut on the side. So I did that with a wig and used a black Sharpie to make it look like a shaped side. So that is something you could do with a wig instead of shaving your head. And that is this one. Kagami for Kuroga no Basket, basketball anime. Um, this is also another really short hairstyle that you could do with a wig. This one I use Sharpie as well to make the gradient. You can also use wig for ponytail hairstyle. I'm a big selfie person. <laughs> no, I'm a big selfie. <laughs> um, yeah, so like if you if you want to do characters with ponytail hairstyle, you can also use a wig. It's not that hard. There are like online tutorials how to put a wig up in a ponytail. There are also some like pre-style ponytail wigs that you can get like from auto wigs, which I'm gonna talk about later if we have time. Okay, so how to choose a good best wig. So you can start by looking at your wallet, like how much money you have. I usually don't really care too much how much a wig costs. Like I would look at the cosplay that I'm doing and if you're doing like a few or more outfit of the same characters, you would want to get a pretty decent wig because you're going to be wearing that more than a few times. Um, if you're just doing one outfit of that character, you can get like a cheap wig from eBay or from Taobao. And as far as like skin tone, if you have darker skin, you would want to go with the wig that's not too vibrant, so you don't look bad. Um, like if, if you're black, you know you don't want to use like super bright green wig. You wanna use something that's like more toned down. Um, and also when when you cosplay, um, you get your photo taken a lot, and you want to do photo shoot and stuff. Um, when the photographer process your photo, it usually make the wig more bright and more saturated. So let's say for like Ichigo from Bleach, you don't want to choose super bright orange. You want to choose like maybe a pumpkin orange or something that's like maybe brownish orange. And it will look bright in photo anyways, because after the process, Also, um, you could, if you have like a large head, some of you guys have a big head, you could choose a seller that have larger wig for your niece, like Arda wigs, or a big cosplay, they have those. Most of the seller from China, like from eBay, their wigs are usually small, like they might not fit you very well, you would have like hit it wearing them. So um, I'll get into that later. Okay, um, wig styling products. 
What I usually use is got to be um, spiking glue. This is really good for spiking and just general like boy style, hairstyle. And um, got to be freezing spray. This is also good for spiking and finishing touch, like when you want to seal the style. After you've done all the styling, you want to spray it and to seal it so it lasts longer, like the styling will go down. Um, this is also another one I use like all the time. This is Gatsby Moving Rubber in pink. Um, this is a Japanese brand product. You can get it from Mitsuwa. They have them for like 10, 11 dollars. Um, they also sell them in Chinatown in Chicago. You can also get this from online, like Amazon and stuff. Um, this is also good for spiking, but um, it's less strong than the Gatsby stuff. But it's called moving rubber for a reason because when you use it, you can actually move the hair with your fingers. And I'll, I'll show you, it's very cool. Um, this, I'm not sure if you can get this from online, but I got this for free from a Japanese wig seller. Um, it's wig silicone spray. You can use this for like um, curly wig. If it gets fussy, like for this wig, I use it a little bit on this wig. If it gets fussy or dry, you can spray it and comb it. I think it should be something online. Like that. Um, and this is not a hair product, but it's good for crafting like hair really style wig. This is Fabric Tag, Fabric Blue. Get it from Joanne. And you can use this to add more webs to your wig. Um, instead of sewing it, I hate sewing. I just use this and to glue the web onto the wigs to make it thicker. Um, let's see. You, I use um, flat iron. Sometimes the wig would get tangled or get curly in places. You want to flatten it out. It's. You can also use it to like flip some of the hair. Or, um, when you spike something, you want to flip the end. You can use that too. And hand dryer. And um, if you start a wig at home, you can get one of these wig stand. It's really useful if you have like a table. You can just clip it on and then put the foam wig head on top of it. And you you can do it any way, like any direction you want, and it's really useful. Um, got some wig tabs over here. Um, I usually use this type of wig tab. It's like stocking type. You can also use the the netting type, but I don't think that kind is like can hold your hair very well as this one because this one is more stretchy. I don't have the knitting type to show, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the styling techniques. Actually, if you have like a really big forehead, you wanna start here anyways. Because when you wear a wig, you don't have to wear it up here. Like you can wear it here, like normal people. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and you would want to secure the wig with some pins. It's not like the pins that you would wear if you make costume and stuff. So the wig doesn't move when you style it.
you could also use this kind of finger with the teeth. This is for layering. Don't use that very often. Um, this is razor comb. This is also for layering hair. And really useful for rig styling is called rat tail comb. So like you use the end to section off the hair before you style it. And then you use this comb to tease the hair and you spike it. And um, a pick. This is good for like lifting up volume of the hair or comb out the fussy hair. This comb is good for long wigs. It's also, you can get some clips. I don't have too many clips today. You can use bobby pins as well. So I'll be showing this hairstyle. Don't judge. I love this picture. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Um, so Nagisa has like center bang and then parted by the eye. So you want you want to look at the reference and then a little bit. So before you part the bang, um, you can look at the eye of the weekend and like his bang are parted like right in the center of the eye. So like right there. But keep in mind that the wig head is a little bit smaller than actual human head. So when you cut the wig, don't cut it too short. You can cut it a little bit and then try it on and see how much you need to trim off. So once you have that section off, you can use Hair clip or bobby pin. Clip the hair to the side to get it out of the way for now and you can work on the front bang first. Okay. I usually just use normal finger to do all the, the layering. So um, his bang is like shorter on the side here and then longer towards the middle. So you want to take the hair, start from the side, just a small piece of it, and then cut, up, cut it as you go down. Shearing? Yeah, yeah that, it would pretty much be shearing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if any of you guys have ever gotten like uh, side sweat bangs, when they just take your hair and they just go I think most girls have that. Yes, that is exactly what it is. Okay. <laughs> well, I tried. Alright, I think, I think we all kind of get it. So yeah, just, just do that um, layering thing for both sides.
we can do some for the, the top center as well because it will look better from the side way to have like more layers. So grab some of the hair from the top center and cut that as well. So the top layer would be shorter than the rest. And then you can work on the bottom. Just keep in mind that the center should be longer than the side. So his bang come to around here, like just right under his eye. So trim that to about that length. Okay. At this point, you can use some styling product. You would need to cut more layers like when I did with the bangs. But I won't be showing all of that. Okay. Um, optional, but you can also use some of the spiking glue. But only use it for the tips. Because for this style, it's very loose and like it's not not rigid. It should be very loose and very casual. So just use for the tip to kind of secure it. So you have, if you have some loose hair like hanging here, you can just snip it off. Oh, the wig I'm using is from Arna Wig, by the way, which is the wig company based in Chicago that I work for. It's on the wig retailer that I'm going to talk about later. Let's say you want to do one of those like gravity flying bang, kind of go up and then down in the front. Um, most most girl anime characters, like when they have cinder bang, they like going up and down. But I guess some people don't know how to do that. They, they kind of just, just part their hair and they don't do the, the bang thing. I'll show it on this side. So to do that, you just take take like one inch wide of hair, or as much as you need. Don't take too much at all. Out a little bit. And you can use the gut to be 
because for the spike to hold up, you want to want it to have less weight as possible, but you still want it to look full. So that's why you're cutting layer around. If you're working on like a bunch of different spikes, you can use a small rubber band to to wrap it like at the top. So that would help sectioning off your spike. For like this kind of spiking, I just use this. I don't use the gas piece stuff because that won't be strong enough for this type of spiking. Why you can use the scissor to trim a little more. much easier if I have the hand right here working because I could just use it to dry the product a lot faster. But basically this is how you make a spike. I like to have the end like flip in some direction, either up or down. Because it's just kind of boring if it's just if it's just quite straight. So like anime hair, have it flip a little bit. Anybody have questions about any styling techniques before I wash my hand about this? Yes? Um, sometimes my hair is a product from a lid. Like okay. you just wash it like normal hair, you have to use something else with it. What did you say? Like how you wash like a product out of a wig. Out of a Um, Usually, you don't want to wash a wig very often. Like if you don't need to, I don't recommend washing a wig at all. But if you do need to wash a wig, just use um, 
like regular hand shampoo. Some people use conditioner and get a bucket of lukewarm water, put a little bit of conditioner in it, and you can soak it, soak the wig in there. Take it out, let it air dry on a towel or something. And this, yeah, that's pretty much how to do it. Yes. What happens if you wash it too much? If you wash it too much? Yeah, you usually don't recommend washing it too often. Ah, yeah. If you wash it too many times, the hair would get really dry and it would get really um, frizzy. It's like you, the wig is really pretty much. Like that's why I don't recommend washing it that long. Because like when you wear a wig, you would wear a wig cap underneath anyways. So the wig would not be directly touching your hair. So um, the wig cap should be changed like regularly. Um, once every three months or something. But yeah, the, the wig will, won't be touching your head if you wear a wig cap. So that's why you should always wear a wig cap. I get really pissed off when people don't wear a wig cap. I'm like, you can't quite wear a wig cap. Yeah, it's very really helpful. Okay, and so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to properly put on a wig because even if you have a really good style wig, if you don't put it on right, it just looks bad. Um, so there are some pointers you want to keep in mind. Like pretty much every wig has the side here and here. So those sides would go in front of your ears, right? And then at the back, this part would go behind your neck. Like, Right where your hairline ends in the back. And there are hooks with strap that you can adjust. If it's too big, you can move the hook towards the center. on right now you have to make sure it actually looks good on you or it doesn't look like a mess um, you can use the red tail comb again Personally, when the characters have center bang, if it's like really long that go past your nose, you don't want it to be just center. You kind of want it to go either way, like either side. Um, I usually prefer to go on the left side. So kind of have the end go this way. I think it looks better in photo that way. So for the side, um, sometimes when you have a lot of hair, the side would just go up, like flip up. So sometimes I use spare gum, or you can use like wig tape, and apply it over here a little bit, and you can press the hair down here, and just that will, the hair will stick to this side of your face. So when you walk around at the convention, um, doesn't have like crazy flippy hair on the side.
also if you just if you just want um, a small part of the hair here for the side you can tuck the rest of the hair behind the ear because like um, I think for Nakisa his, his ear shows so you want you want to show the ear here so tuck the rest of the hair Do that for both sides, and also um, for the back, you can do the same thing with the spirit gum. You can apply some right here, and then press the hand out. So the hair of the wig will hide your actual hair. Because sometimes we have like loose hair in the back, and like. You will lose hair with poke out under the wig. So make sure you tuck all your hair into the wig cap as much as you can, and then you can use the spirit gum and press the hand down here. It really helps a lot for shorter wigs, like for um, Kagami wigs that I did. A lot of people thought it was my real hair because they didn't see my actual hair at all because I pressed the hand down. Um, could you demonstrate putting like a wig cap on someone? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, I never had to do that because I always want to have short hair. Usually with a long hair, you would want to either braid your hair first and then you kind of wrap your braid like around your hair and then you put the wig cap on top. It's going to take a long time, so I don't think I can demonstrate that here. But there are some um, tutorials on YouTube that you could look at. Like just look at um, how to put a wig cap over long hair. Like you can do the bread thing, or you can do um, this technique that my friend did. You wet your hair, and oh, while it's flat, while it's wet, just wrap it around your head, and then put the wig cap on. So you can do that. I never had to do that with long hair because always has long hair. Yeah, I used to do the the wet technique. Yeah, like super long hair. Yeah. And it works pretty well. It right. lights your hair, so you mm -hmm. can rewash it afterwards. If but you have long hair, like you're going to need to take some time to flatten your hair before you put the wig cap on. If you just throw your wig cap on without doing any special thing to your hair, you're just going to have like weird bump <laughs> on your hair. And your wig won't fit very well if you have a big bump. Um, all right, everyone has the sheet with the links. <laughs> they are actually on vacation right now, so they don't have <laughs> any item listed. But usually they have a bunch of items. Uh, I actually have a wig from them right here. Um, Cosplay Week is a Chinese seller. I think a lot of their wigs are really great quality for pretty great price. Like this one was about $25, like $28, I'm sure. With shipping included. Is CC Kids. Um, this store is kind of a hit or a miss. They have some pretty good styles, like character wigs. Like they even have this one from Duncan Rockwell. Yeah, that wigs are pretty decent price. Next one, um, Moe Mall. They have some costume and some wigs. Um, most of the wigs are from like Taobao Sailor, Blue Cow. I think they have same wigs. The wigs here are pretty good quality as well, but they are on a smaller side, so if you have a big head. I wouldn't recommend getting it from them. But again, um, the price is very good. Like this one, 
Cut. So like this way, you would actually get it like pre-cut and you just have to just flip the hair. I got one of that wigs for one of my cosplay and it's, it came like already cut. So it's really useful if you don't know how to cut hair, you can just buy from them. This one I included in here too, but they don't have a lot of cosplay wigs, but they do have like wigs from Lolita and just casual wear or if you want to do Japanese fashion. Um, are we going on to international seller? This guy has their own website, so you don't have to go to eBay. They have eBay store as well, but it is easier to just go to that website and navigate through here. Um, this one, Aryanam Misatoru, they have a lot of pre style wigs for characters. So you can go by you can browse by series here. Okay. I think their wigs are pretty accurate. Like this one for Ray, I really like the color. This one is Lutao. Also have a lot of character wigs. I recommend their long wigs because it doesn't tangle as much as other sailors. But again, it's on a smaller side. Okay, um, Gecko is another sailor from China. Also have a bunch of character waves. Their waves are a bit larger than normal Chinese sailors. So if you're looking for an alternative for from like art of wig or if you cosplay, you can buy from them. Art of wig, which is the company that I work for and who provided the wig for demonstration today. Um, you can go to their menu and browse the wig here by style or if you want to browse by color, there's a link here, you can click and then just click what color. They have a bunch of colors, like so many different shades of blue. The wigs are usually, like these chocolate wigs are around $30 to $40. But they have a lot of um, variant, like different style, different type of curls, even like Afro style. Like this one. They have this new style for ponytail wig, um, which I think is pretty neat. You would need a ponytail wig because um, this ponytail wig can be taken out and just become regular long wig right here. All right, another seller from the U.S. Um, anime stuff store. They also have a bunch of anime things. I bought a few wigs from them and they're 
uh, pretty good for the price. Like this one is only $18. Pretty good price for a US seller. And they have a lot of different colors. They have really fast shipping too. So if you order a wig, you would get it in like three days. So this one is not a cosplay wig website, but it's, they have some really cheap glass run. I bought one from them, and they have a lot of people reviewing their wigs on YouTube. If you want to check it out, just type in like Epic, Epic Hairs Reveal. And they have a lot of glass front that you can use for some characters, like, you know, some girls from sci-fi TV series or something and it's it's on the cheaper side like $30 um, this one is my favorite Japanese wig shop early um, they have a set they have a lot of different style here on the side I usually buy this wig from them. It's called Wolf Base. You can use this for all the Bishonen characters or even <laughs> spiky hair. It's really easy to spike this wig because of how they made the fiber. Like they have some. They also have pictures of cosplayer that use that wig. Oh, I forgot to talk about other ways. They also have tutorials here. A bunch of them. Like on the left side is tutorial by the people from other ways, and on the right side is tutorial by the customers that they submit to us. So if you have time, you can look through the tutorials when you need. I believe that is a tutorial for washing a wig here too. I think they also ship to the U.S. I um, they used to ship to the U.S. but I'm not sure if they still do. They probably do. Uh, you can look at the hair here. They have half wig but I don't think you want to use that for cosplay. It's very pretty. Yeah. Um, you want to rouse through that full wig. Here. The fiber are really high quality, so it's really expensive. Like starting at $50. goes up around seventy dollars per week, really basically. If you have a friend in Japan or you know um, just use a buying service, you can buy a wig from eShop. eShop has a lot of different colors. You can look at their cost. I think that long wig is very good. And they are pretty cheap. Like for this one, really long wig come to down to about here, like under your butt. It's, and it's only 30 something dollars. It's just really good price for their quality. <laughs> Yeah, this sensor out all the cost of your face. <laughs> so wig is really popular among Japanese cosplayers. Um, they also have a bunch of colors. So we should probably head out. Okay. Yeah, it's 7.30 actually. Yeah, I think 
that is it for this panel.